Um, this is the plans here for our new house that we're going to be building. Hopefully we're going to start in the next couple of months and it looks quite special. <laughs> and it's going to be all on one level so we can all be together. Um, I mean the boys can have their own room which was really initially why we were going to build a new house but it's kind of snowballed into something entirely different now. Um, but Phil's pretty much designed it. He had the main idea. He's better at envisaging things than I am. But um, we've designed it together. And um, it's going to be great lush. <laughs> For me it's quite a big thing that I don't feel we're having to compromise because of my situation, um, so it hasn't changed massively, um, but it will be nice to be able to have the whole run of the house and to be able to go to them if they need me. But no, we're just carrying on as much as possible really and, and trying not to let it stop us doing anything. Obviously there's limitations as to what we can do. but. Phil's great for researching. He'll go online and find a way around it or a gadget or something, and he's really good at that. So, yeah, it's thanks to him really that I'm doing a lot. He's always been very good at pushing me, so he's not going to stop now. I really wouldn't be um, as positive if it wasn't for him, and um, he's he's just been so good. I mean, all throughout the time I was in hospital last year. Not only was he working, um, you know, spending time with the boys, um, he was visiting me every weekend, but he was also raising money for the spinal charities. He did London Marathon and he did the Caledonia ETAP, which is a bike ride in a day. And he raised over £7,000 last year. He's amazing and he's got an awful lot to, to deal with. And, yeah, he's, he's my rock. Mm -hmm.